One sec. Good morning. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. I don't know if people have a uh, stuff planned, barbecues, whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we came here to get ready before we head out to to the brother or whatever. See if we can get some class A drones. Actually, I do want another med kit instead of one of those grenades. Swap out our deck for a weapon. You know, maybe we'll be able to use the deck there, so. I guess we should blow the rest of our money. This is probably the last mission.
Yeah, let's get someone with haste. Take this orky dude. Sure. <sighs> Towards Brotherhood. It takes nearly an hour for the taxi to make its way from the squalor of the Redmond Barrens across the bridge to the Seattle waterfront and the Universal Brotherhood. The building's a pre-crash brick job with a fancy new facade that sports neon highlights and an enormous set of glass double doors. Through the windows, you can see activity within. Smiling, happy disciples shuffling along in beige pajamas and slippers. A greeter stands outside the front door, gently attempting to entice the misbegotten and the curious to enter and take their first baby steps towards the Brotherhood. Pike Place Market is usually empty by now, but you step out of your cab to the sounds of an excited crowd. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Eight karma. Hmm. Mm. That's not a lot. Feeling not great today. Let's see. Sure, we'll get a point of dodge. Okay. Hurts. I just had to scare the bird. Real fan, security a dealer. <laughs> the 
The fan is apparently excited to be in the same city as the rock star. Hey, how you doing? You here for the Maria Mercurial concert? Ooh, you bet. Man, I wish I could get you in. They just announced this thing an hour ago, all spontaneous like. Of course, by the time I got here, all the tickets were already gone. I'm gonna try and find a better spot to hear. Okay. So they announced this concert probably just to block us. It's a scalper? It wouldn't be a rock concert without a drug dealer. Although no police are nearby, he plays the part as if the performance was part of the experience. Psst! Yo, you like NERPS? Maybe something stronger? NERPS? I don't even know what NERPS are. You been living under a rock, oh my? NERPS is the wonder drug. It'll cure whatever ails you. You've got NERPS? No, I'm out of NERPS. But I got something else in my life. Well, why did you even bring up NERPS then? Out of nerves, huh? Show me what you got. Nothing interesting. No nerves. Thank you. I help you. Can I get into the concert? Well, that's not up to me. The concert was only announced an hour ago, but the tickets are already sold out. Sorry, nothing I can do. Okay. Suit yourself, Chummer. Oh, is this the concert? <laughs> There's that same dancer from uh, under under the, the club. The male dancer can only do this. That's wonderful. I'm glad I zoomed in. That's what we're doing. Welcome, brother. Are you ready to build a better tomorrow? I sure am. That's great news. Come in and find the power of belonging. Sounds good. Then go right in, brother. Someone from the counseling center would love to talk with you. Let's 
go. Let's go check it out then. You hear the sounds of soft music playing within, and what, what many, and what many soft slippers gliding across a smooth floor. Uh, the what there seems strange. Let's enter. Oh, brother, I forgot to mention that everyone must enter the Universal Brotherhood alone. Hmm. I'm gonna need some moral support. Oh. Okay. Psst. We'll wait for you. We'll wait outside for you, Baconator. I'll take the team and circle around the building looking for another way in. I'll trip you on your comm link if we find one. alone except for my drones. Please tell me they let my robo drones in. Oh. In contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside, the lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room, and something from a day spa mixed with planetarium sky show, allowing listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of metahumanity mill about with blissful smiles and shining eyes, greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter... Her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. Gross. The sweeping walls, the muted colors, and the soothing music of the Universal, Universal Brotherhood's entrance hall are all designed to relax you. Sister Sally, Brother Mike. Let's talk to Sally. Get some religious literature. Hi! Welcome to the Universal Brotherhood. I'll be with you in just a second. Sister Monica, you have to be more careful with your ID. Here's a blank key card. Take it and your ruined card to Brother Christopher, and he'll let you into the office to program a new one. Okay, so that's what we will maybe have to do. Of course, truth makes us one. So Christopher's that away somewhere. Can I have a blank key card? I don't know why you would need one. They are only used to replace the cards of brothers and sisters who have damaged theirs. What do you know about the Maria Mercurial concert? I know, isn't it exciting? I'm such a big fan of hers. The first time I heard, who weeps for the children, I melted inside. Hmm. Uh oh, some song doesn't seem right. Audio might be a little bit loud as well, but whoa, why is that? Stop that. Maybe it isn't too loud. I guess there isn't speech in this, so it's just music. Um. Oh, she's signing autographs outside right now. 
I know the elders will frown on this, but I've just got to get her autograph. I mean, it's Maria Mercurio. Run away! <laughs> Take a blank key card. You slip a blank key card into your pocket. Now let's leave before she gets back. Father Willie. Sister Wilma. Sure. Let's talk to Wilma. Hello, brother. What can I help you with? I've got some questions. That's why we're here. What are your questions? Is there a computer terminal I can use? No, we believe it is important to remove mundane distractions from our daily life so we can focus on the truth. Our only computers are in the office, and that's off-limits to prospective members. Cool. Cool beans. Truth makes us one! Uh, so we need to go program this card. Yo, Christopher. I rejoice to be with you. How may I help you? I have a blank key card. You shouldn't have a blank key. Damn it. Uh Thankfully she's still gone, right? <laughs> For some reason, I thought he would just let us in with that. Oh man, that's funny. Welcome to the Universal Brotherhood's Counseling Center. What's your name? My name's Nancy. I'm Baconator. Tell me something about yourself, so I can pair you up with the right counselor. Ooh. I could rate someone who's been in the trenches of corporate security. I know the perfect brother to speak with you. He has a similar background and talks security. Y yes, I am the tourist, Baconator. You two would get along fabulously, but he isn't in today, and the rest of my counselor are currently booked. Could you come back tomorrow? Well, darn. The one and only Baconator. So let's not tell him I have a blank key card. Is this the office door? Yes, but it's off-limits to the public. Thanks. So, hmm. How do we get in there? Oh, what's in here? Is this a cafeteria? Maintenance staff has left their equipment. There's a hammer, a number of screwdrivers, and a seemingly random collection of screws, bolts, and nuts. There's a can of paint. Er, yeah, there's a can labeled kerosene and a can labeled paint solvent. Oh. Let's take the kerosene. Sure. The plastic ID card melts in the solvent, enough to be recognizable as a Universal Brotherhood card, but hide that it did not have anything printed on it. Okay. Should we also go grab a blank key card then? Start a fire. 
red and blue candy. Mm. Let's grab a card that we can program. Show the damaged card to Christopher. I rejoice to be with you. How may I help you? Um, Sister Sally at the front desk sent me to you. And why did she send you to me? My key card was ruined and I need a new one. Hand him the melted one. Yeah, do you have your old key card? Yes, it's right here. Wow, what happened to this? I melt in the clothes dryer? Oh, okay. You'd be surprised how many times I've heard that one. Why are you out of uniform? Oh, I need a uniform too. I was mugged? Sweet. He bought it. I found a way into the off-limits area of the Brotherhood, just because somewhere in here. You find another way into this place? Yeah, I went back into the alley and found a side door near the back. I'll send the coordinates so you can find it. Um, I'll come get you when I'm ready. I have to look around first. Okay, I'll reconnoiter. I need to find some uniforms. Oh, there were blank key cards in here the whole time. Oh no, my decking isn't quite high enough. So I have to, if I want to do this, I have to get all this information from another member. Right. Okay, let's, uh, I'll kind of not bail out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Walk away. Um, so we need information. Imagine diminutive friend. Photos of doggos. Who doesn't love doggos? Sister Dawn Ware. Seattle chapter, Brothers and Sisters database. Oh, it has autofill. Oh, recover password. Shorty. Yeah! Of course her diminutive friend is Shorty. Let's authorize a new key card for Adele Yates. One twenty nine, one forty nine. One twenty nine, one forty nine. One twenty nine, one forty nine. Let me
Not a sort by first name. What sort of monster sort by first name? Wait, they have someone named Draco Dementis. What a great name. The holographic map desk displays the Universal Brotherhood logo. High level blueprint. Let's look at the. Oh yeah, let's find out which dorm Dale Yates is in. Where are you at, Dale? Wait, I don't see Dale at all. Okay, let's try and find someone who lives in a dorm then that we can also change their name. I know Monica was one of the names that I could. Not sure if I can pass as a Monica, however. Was Torben? I don't know. Okay, I can't use that. Fine, we are Monica Sachinoff now. Let's see, 134, 647. Dorm was Monica. Was it B or C? B. She's in B dorm. Oops. Start data entry. Monica in B dorm. She's one thirty-four. Oh, I also damn it. Can I just brute force it? Let's save. Because I have all the parts right except for that password. Luckily, who does a, like a multiple choice thing for a password? So it's not Honey Bites, is it New Life for me? Darn. Monica, Dorm B, 134. Baby Bree? We did it! Okay, we need a uniform. 
amazing. So do we have to... Oh, I am going to lower the volume, by the way. It's a little bit overpowering. Oh no, I don't want to be down here. Yeah, let's go talk to the janitor. As you approach the janitor, he looks up, seeming surprised that anyone noticed he was here. What, what do you want? Uh, I'm looking for a little information. I'm willing to pay for it. As long as I don't lose my job or anything, how much you talking about? Sure, we'll give him 300 million. Ha, you got a deal. What do you want to know? I've seen Jessica once. Nope, that doesn't mean much. Most of this place is off limits to me. Um, what do you know of the areas that you don't have access to? The brothers and sisters live in what's called the home, which I've heard as the kitchen and dorm rooms. From there, I've been told there's a ton of security protecting what the freaks call the inner sanctum, but I've never seen any of that stuff. I need a computer. You know where one is? The only computers I've seen are in the office section of the home, behind the staff-only doors. Well, what areas do you have access to? I only have access to the public space, which we are in now. The storage room, locker room, and the office. Okay. That's members only. What is this? Are there uniforms back here? A box full of industrial toilet cleaner. And, uh, yeah, the audio's still too loud, I think. There we go. A large tub is labeled cooking lard. The lid is extremely greasy. Oh. Okay, I'm carrying lard around. A bottle of chloroform? Okay, so I have lard, chloroform, a bucket of kerosene. Liquefied cane sugar. So I'm, I'm like carrying around the lard, like lugging it. I don't understand. What do I do with lard? I don't need his keycard. Oh, uniforms, hopefully. Search locker. Janitor's uniform. I need like a real uniform. There are two uniforms. Oh, uh, this is all just janitor stuff. Neatly clipped articles and a uniform that would fit a human or elf. 
Sure, let's read the articles. The articles are about a variety of missing persons cases in which the missing person had become a member of the Universal Brotherhood. In the articles, a spokesperson for the Brotherhood says that these people are not missing. They have simply cut ties to the families who abused them as children. Let's take the uniform. I put it over my clothes. Okay. It's not weird at all. I need a real uniform, though, to go into that area. At least I'm assuming I do. possibly get a uniform from. There's a... There's a serious maintenance issue that needs your immediate attention. Okay, oh, are we going to chloroform Willy? Okay, Father Willie's greasy black hair and disturbing tattoos are quite the contrast to the flawless features and exquisite clothes of Lynn Telestrian. He doesn't look the part of a spokesman. You see the adulation in the eyes of those who linger around him just to bask in his presence a moment more. Apparently, he's a charismatic speaker. Welcome, my friend from the shadows. I rejoice to be with you. My past doesn't need to be my future. No, it doesn't. Perhaps you've already taken the first steps, my friend. How may I assist you? Father, I just discovered a pressing maintenance issue. Mm, yes, what is it? It's something that needs the attention of a senior leader. I would rather not discuss it out here. Ah, oh, very well. I'm one of the elders here. I can help with that. Where's the problem? It's in the storage room. I'll meet you there. Ready to get chloroformed? Hmm, it's here a moment ago. Yeah, that's chloroformin. Okay, and we could just take his ID card? <sighs> but I spent so much time making my own. Okay, that, his key card was better than ours anyways. save and I think I'm going to put that kerosene on the stove just for the hell of it even though we don't need to at least I don't think we do oh, mamma mia and industrial sized food processor it's mostly things that are either brown or green, with the primary difference seeming to be age. Yummy. The broken vending machine seems like it could be moved. Oh, spread the lard on the ground and then push it. 
Aha! With some slight creaking, the vending machine slides away to reveal a secret door. That's what the lard was for the whole time. Let's go into the secret door. Let's look at this terminal. Okay, so that's the exterior door. Do I need uniforms for like all of them though? Is there gonna be like a crate of uniforms I can bring over? Okay, that's one. Transfer for sale in thrift shops. Reason for transfer? Shane could not accept the truth, and he'll no longer be needing these things. He has been moved downstairs. The boxes contain clothes and personal items, including a photo of Cherry Bomb. Digging deeper, you confirm that they are belo the belongings of Brother Shane. Oh no. sister's uniform that would not fit you. Yeah, but I need stuff to fit like coyote in them. Restricted area. On the lower bunk is the draft of a letter. Dear Mom and Dad, I write you every day, but I never hear back from you. Maybe what they're saying here is true. Maybe you never loved me at all. I think this will be my last letter. Your ex-son, Charles. The locker contains a brotherhood, a brother's uniform that will fit you. I mean, that's cool and all, but like, I already have one. Look at the cards. There are two greeting cards taped to the bunk. One is a giant homemade card. The others are professionally printed and uh, features the logo of the Universal Brotherhood. Let's open the homemade Missing You Already card. Julie, we're so proud of you for advancing to the inner sanctum. Remember us lowly brothers and sisters and come visit us often. Love, Monica, and your fellow doormates. And the professional one. Dear Sister Julie, it's my pleasure to invite you to join us in the Inner Sanctum as a mother of the Universal Brotherhood. I've left your upgraded keycard in your locker. We rejoice to be with you, Father Willie. Okay. <sighs> Do I need to let my team in here so that we can all get uniforms? Oh, can I close the store down here? No? Yeah, let's let the team in. Access this anymore. Well, damn. Let's use Father Willie's card. Oh. Okay, let's not go through that just yet. Let's save. 
we can't save. That's cool. Who are these people? <sighs> New members that Grandmother Jessica requested to see. I see. Well, until you deliver them to Grandmother Jessica, you're responsible for them. So don't let them go wandering off. Whew. The inner sanctum welcomes you, Father. Okay, we can save again. Should we go through here? The secret door. I'm super curious what the secret door is. I have to go in. Let's do it. Beneath the Brotherhood. Past the door is a short passage leading to a freight elevator. You hit the down button and the elevator rumbles its descent. Past where a basement would be. Past where a parking garage would be. The doors open to a very different environment from the one you left. Gone is the airy, soothing atmosphere of the Brotherhood's public face. The corridor leading from the elevator is utilitarian and sterile. The spa music replaced by echoing nothingness. Somewhere ahead, far below the Universal Brotherhood, is Sam's twin sister. Somewhere ahead, beneath a veneer of unity and belonging, is Sam's killer. The same woman, Jessica Watts. For a moment, we were all in uniforms, and then we all changed out. So that's a locked door over there. Okay. Whoa! What the hell is this? Oh no, a chain. <laughs> Sorry, won't be happy to find that out. Searching through the desk, you find a list of money transfers made by the Brotherhood. You're not supposed to be here. Okay, so two mages? Is that hopefully it? He had like a laser katana. That's pretty sick. Should haste three. 
what is this bullshit? I wouldn't have taken this person at all. Oh, garbage. This it lied to me about her spells. Blank shotgun like that. Not very Okay, I guess we're still going to stay in combat. Okay, we have the holding cell key. Let her out. Marie Louise. The young elf woman's clearly shaken from being locked up and seeing her jailer killed in front of her eyes. These, these people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night and I heard noises. Ugh. Rax, you're safe now. What's your name? Marie. Marie Louise. Listen, we've got to get out of here. The priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up. They were chatting all the way, but then I heard sc chanting all the way, but then I heard screaming and something else. Something foul. What did they want with you? I don't know. I was mad at my father and my aunt brought me here. She said that the Brotherhood was just what I needed, that I could find a new family here, like she did, that I could be part of something bigger than myself. Then it got weird. You'd expect people like this to be nice to you, you know? That's what they're all about. This was different. They all started bowing to me, 
And that's when the chanting started. That's when I got really scared. Oh no! Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? No, you're needed here! There's a hungry glint in Jessica's eyes. I'll bet I won't be your sacrificial lamb, Jessica. Oh, okay. My darling girl, you misunderstand. What we offer is eternal life. A chance to be part of a new... Wait, you? You're alive? Well, it isn't eternal life, but it'll do. So you say. But I'm glad you're here. Truly, I am. You've helped me more than you can know. Further opened my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him and my old life behind me. But Sam represented so much more. The world is sick, you see. Humanity is sick. And perhaps, and perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others. He barely cared for himself. Self-destruction. It was Sam's path, and it's humanity's path if we don't make a change. If we don't embrace a new way of thinking. We must put each other first, and this is the basis of my new family. Does your new family know how you treated your old one? Sam and my mother were anchors, dragging me down with them into the gutter of human existence. But that part of my life ended at the burial. I'm free now. Free to be up uplifted by my new family. There's a new world coming, Baconator, and it's beautiful. Ordered, safe, unambiguous, a world where everyone knows their place. Imagine a world without chaos, without selfishness, or any other human failings. No one to betray you, or hurt you, or... Listen to yourself. You don't even sound human anymore, Jessica. Soon I won't be. I'll transcend, becoming part of something bigger than myself. <laughs> but first, I think it's time you met my new family. They're eager to make your acquaintance. <sighs> what? True form. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are our queen. She locked us in, but I can get us out of here. Last night they were holding me in the next room. The one with the computers. I jacked into one of them and was hacking their security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in that cell and disabled the jack points, but I can fix them. Yeah, we'll help. Look, I went to the best school in the country for matrix engineering. I know what I'm doing. They locked the nodes down when they caught me, but I... But I put slipped in, but I put slipped in some code before they did. So it has to be me that jacks in. Just hold them off and let me fix it. What about I see? I write I see as a hobby, okay? Just trust me and keep that thing away from me. How entertaining. I'm glad you weren't killed at the cemetery, Baconator. It'll be so much more fun watching you die. Okay. Um. I'll tell you that they're bacon later. Let's take these guys out.
really was so small. No! I'm, I thought I said the air barrier thing selected. Oh crap. I'll just punch the crap out of this dude. Wait, that was your whole turn? Hey, yeah, numbing poison. Oh, what happened, Ace? Oh, it's fine. actually know how to delete it, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. So how, uh, how are you doing? Are you doing a little stream today? an air barrier around this dude. my buddy.
What's that thing? Spirit. Can I punch it? No, it's immune. Okay, I have a magical punch. Use it though. Well, how do we take out this thing? Um, Lightning bolt? Oh, I need to stop shotgunning through my own dudes. Holy cow. Back. There, now you see them in their truest form. Now you see that they cannot die. <sighs> what the hell are these things? They are the immortal soul made flesh. They are our destiny. Um, last chance, Jessica. You can still stop this. Why would I stop? I see things so clearly now. My mind was open to her when she called from beyond the veil, and she's rewarded my service and my faith with great power. This could have been yours as well, Marie-Louise. You were here to host our queen. But no matter, there is another. Okay, she's gonna go hack in. <sighs> and I'll jack in after. on the other side of her.
I think we can kill it again. Almost. Blaster. How big of an area is this? It's not a huge area. Can we get all three of them in that? Heck yeah! Go pistol. Dude, he needs to heal himself again. to have everyone reload. keep forgetting there's a shotgun because it's certainly like the silhouette makes me think it's a assault rifle. <sighs>
Akinator to the rescue. Okay, so we just have to deal with this room of fellows. Okay, we just have to survive a teensy bit longer, right? I found you. Harkeen, is that you? Call me Samadhi, please. We're in an unsecured node. Hang on, I'm running a decoy operation with the mirror's utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with ice. How did you find me? You leave a very distinctive trail, Amel. You need to work on that. Now what the hell's going on here? There's no time. The next level the Universal Brotherhood's always talking about. I think they transform into bugs. 
I heard some rumors on Shadowland, but this is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. You've got to get out of there. Way ahead of you. This node controls the doors. We're free. Now we just need to get out of here. I'll see you soon, I hope. Tell the leader of the runner team with you to contact the Baron in the Matrix as soon as they can access. Tell him I'll be looking for them. Whoa, slow down. Who are you? Ah, the lurker in the Matrix speaks. But you would do better to ask who she is. Alas, there is no time. This place is dangerous. You and Marie Louise must get safely away. Then we will talk. Uh, cool. So we need to get the heck out of here now. Sorry guys, you have to last one more round, I guess. Which door did I open? This one? Go chill over here. Another drone falling. We have to get out of here. putting on a tough face, but you can see she's spooked. Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting the hell out of here. Um, hmm. Just a minute. Who are you? Where are you going? I'm... I just gotta get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'll... I'll see you around. Okay. 
The image that suddenly lights up your comlink is clearly a non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using the Matrix to tight beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell that the voice has been modulated to disguise it. Bonsoir, mon ami. You must be careful with these devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. We meet again. Who are you? Forgive me, I am the Baron. Perhaps you have uh, heard of me? I'm a decker of unique gifts. Some have gone so far as to call him a technomancer. Uh, so I, I'm sure that I'm going to mispronounce that name. That's why I'm not pronouncing it. Is it Sam Eddie? I don't know. We too, we have a common knowledge now, and we share a common purpose. I'm listening. The girl, she is important to Samadhi. He is grateful for your timely assistance, sir, and he finds herself and he finds himself in position to return the favor. He knows the one you are after, he knows, and he can help you get to her. But this comlink, it's not a secure connection, is it? No. We need to meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. Uh, what's your stake in this business? The one you are after poses a grave threat to many, but this is for later. We must hurry now. Get to a secure jackpoint. Enter the Shadowlands. I'll meet you there. Bon voyage. <laughs> Sweet. Get out of here. Is there a reason not to just leave? Is there something here? Yeah, let's just leave. The Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant, unkillable bugs. But she is. If you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Oh, we can tell Cherry about Shane. Wow, it's crowded. Hey, the cherry bomb is swamped with customers, but when she catches a glimpse of you, she gets on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Baconator, what's going on? Hey, Cherry, listen, we need to talk about Shane. Shane? What about Shane? It's not good, Cherry. Just tell it to me straight, Baconator. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous. But I thought you should know. My god, Shane. <laughs> she looks at her customers, then down to the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> Welcome back, Ace. She continues processing the information, and then she remembers something. Oh hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Johnny Clean freaked out? Okay, I'll talk to him. Yeah, that'd be Wizard. Uh, so... Lots of people to talk to. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low, shaky. What the, what the hell was that back there, man? Just what the frag was that? Bugs. Giant fragging bugs. And Sam's sister's their leader? If I didn't see it, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant unkillable bugs. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around, locked and loaded. 
Will do. Okay, later. Uh, I guess we'll talk to John. Oh my, you looking to hire the best or some of the common rabble? The common rabble. It's your funeral. I don't like that guy. I don't want to hire any of his Nephilim network dudes. Bobby. Yo, guy, have we met? You look familiar. I meet a lot of people. No problem. You need some brain benders tonight? I got some of that Merc stuff. Freakers, taxi drivers, you know. Let me see what you got. It's trash. No nerps? Get out of here. The man sizes you up as you approach. His carefully groomed hair and the shine on his shoes seem out of place for the barons. Hey, you looking for work? I got a little something if you're up to it. It's a milk run. My experience, it's never a milk run. <laughs> Don't worry, this one's as straightforward as they come. The job's a simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Renraku, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a, a subversion of the free market. And you want me to secure Mr. Sada's freedom to work for your people instead? <laughs> exactly. But it has to be now. Renraku's shipping Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight, he's been kept at a hidden research facility out here in the Barrens. Just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now. Thinking that nobody notices. We don't care about any of that. We just want Sada before he's out of our reach. The place should be lightly guarded, probably rent a cops. Get in, grab Sada, get out. In exchange, I'm authorized to remit 9,000 new yen in payment. <laughs> I'm not, however, authorized to negotiate. I'm in, let's see the new yen. We pay on delivery, friend. That's how it always works. I'll send the lab's location to PDA. Hire a team and head there right away. Liberate Sada and deliver him to my employers. They'll have a car waiting outside for the lab when outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sada's on his way, we'll meet back here for payment. Hmm. I'm not sure that it makes any sense for us to go do that. Hello, stranger. I'm busy right now, so I hope you've got something that's worth my time. Oh, how about a list of every politician the Universal Brotherhood has bribed to date? I could certainly find someone interested in that information. It will take some legwork to verify the veracity of such a list. How about 2,000? I don't know. This info is about to be worth a lot more in the next few days. And what, I'm supposed to take your word for it? Fine, I'll speculate. But only because I can find you if this doesn't pan out. 2,500, no more. Sweet. Let's talk to our big friend. You alright, Baconator? I'll live, Mr. Klua. Thanks. I heard you made trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. Yeah, stirred up's a hornet's nest, you might say. People are starting to say there's some dark dreck going on down in those chapter houses, like they're taking advantage of the poor folk who go there looking for help. I gotta say, that makes my blood boil. It's bad enough that the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. We don't need more people preying on the most defenseless members of society. And I hate to bring race into it, but it's a fact that a good number of people who go to the Brotherhood for help are metas like me. But what options do we have? Do you realize it would take an act of Congress to grant me full citizenship? And they have yet to do it once. Wars are started more easily than a meta gets a sin in this country. 
So it's no wonder we turn to people like the Brotherhood, who claim to listen to our woes and speak on our behalf. Hmph. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just know some folks who went to the Brotherhood for those very reasons. I might have ended up there myself if Miss Kaboto hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on in there, I trust you'll put an end to it, one way or another. Yeah, this isn't just for Sam anymore. Go get him, sir. Let's go stock up. Uh, let's see. Oh, we didn't actually use any of our... Okay. Maybe Algernon knows what those bugs are. The magic dealer's area is abuzz with chaotic activity as you watch the contents of a dozen boxes fly through the air. The articles land on Algernon's table in some elaborate sorting scheme, while the man himself casually sits reading a magazine from the previous century. Welcome, Baconator. Is there anything I might provide to make your life easier, or perhaps make another's more difficult? You ever hear of a bug spirit or bug shaman, Algernon? Hmm, I'm sorry, I find the very idea repugnant. You must understand, a shaman doesn't follow the literal incarn incarnation of his totem. One who pledges himself to a cat does not drink milk from a saucer or claw the drapes. Instead, a shaman follows the ideals of his totem. Dog is less canine and more a symbol of loyalty. Coyote is less a scavenger and more a trickster. So you can understand why I find the idea of an insect totem so foreign. To what quality would a shaman aspire in such a case? Ugh. Please, let us speak of more pleasant things, perhaps. Commerce? Yeah, I don't need no commerce. Can we buy Class A drones yet? Class, class A drones yet. That's what I need. Give me some of that real firepower. Oh, we can't even use a Class S drone yet. Darn. If we buy these drones, we won't have enough uh, money to hire a team. bunch of money quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can go solo save, uh, or some... kidnap that scientist, though. I'm going to have to hire some runners, and that's going to cost at least 3,000 new yen. So, we need that much left over. John is hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with a cyber deck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, eyes narrowed. Hey, you been making new friends out there? What's that supposed to mean? It means someone very powerful in the Matrix has an interest in you all of a sudden, and that doesn't happen by accident. He calls himself Baron Samity. He has been asking about you on the Shadowlands. He has a pretty distinctive icon. Skull face with a top hat? I can't tell what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this if I were you. Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they're so inclined. That's enough talk. I need to talk to the bear. Well, okay there. You, you can use my secure jack point. I've already set up a portal to the Shadowlands. Feel free to jack in whenever you're ready. Bonsoir, mon ami. 
I'm pleased we can have such a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. Everyone on the Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Famity wishes to thank you for saving Marie Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm were to come to her, <laughs> he doesn't know what he would do. He also offers you this his help. The insects you encountered, they are something? No, something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There is much at stake. Somedy knows you're after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get this woman and defeat her bugs. And hypothetically, how would we do that? The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward, but he can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula, codenamed Aegis. They're working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is the third attempt to get it right, and they believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. What's that have to do with Jessica and the UB? We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones, like the ones you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watts woman to justice, you'll need Aegis. And as it happens, Samadhi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence the job at hand. We're going to break into the Telestian... Telestrian Industries' primary operations office complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within that building. We'll find the Aegis sample and liberate it for ourselves. Hmm. Why not just tell Lone Star and let them take care of the Brotherhood? The Universal Brotherhood has connections, high-level connections, in the government and in Lone Star. And their message resonates with those who need something to believe in. We have no proof, we have no time, we must act. So, will you do this thing? Will you ally with Baron Samadhi? Got a job to do. If this is a means to that end, I'll do it. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so you have a code you follow. It's all about the job, eh? There's nobility in this. Somebody must suggest you bring a more experienced decker with you, in case your skills are not up to the challenge. Forgive the Baron, he means no disrespect, but this mission, it must succeed. Wait, what about you? You're not coming with? <laughs> Samadhi will be part of this evening's events, but must remain remote. He will keep all of Seattle law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away while you locate the information we need from inside. Okay, and what about the on-duty security? You know, the ones that'll shoot me as soon as I step into the lobby. Ah, uh, the Baron will handle that as well. Telestrian guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you're there. But of course, even the Baron cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel to the Telestrian office complex downtown. You will be contacted again when you've gained interest. Sweet. Um... Okay, I guess we just jack out. Well, holy crap! Telestrian Industries, you hit the big time, chum. If you need a second decker, you might as well take one of the best. That means you, right? <laughs> no, I, I'm not an inside man anymore. My, my running days are over. 
There's an elf who owes me a favor. He goes by a dodger. You may have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle. This is me saying it. I'll get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. Like he's a damn Charles Dickens novel. Uh, well, I'm not going to attempt that. Wait, where did he say we can meet this dude? Oh, he didn't. So we have to do at least one of these side jobs to um, get enough money to re-equip ourselves. And we have to do the other one to get the Aegis. Can I do this in any order? Uh, I'm gonna look that up before I make a horrible mistake. Like, it's not one or the other, right? Okay, down to a Steam general discussion post, literally asking that very thing. Whether they're mutually exclusive. There's one comment that says you can do both of them, and I think it's... Okay. Yeah, we'll do Renraku. Let's get some money. We need the money. Wait, how? Ooh, I have a lot of Nuyen all of a sudden. That's. Hmm. So let's see what a team would cost us, and then I'll see if I have enough money to go ahead and upgrade my drones. Why is the spell spark such a lie for some of these? Take a shaman. And maybe uh, this adept. I guess between these two. Okay, she's better with her weapons. He's better at throwing those grenades. Let's take the dwarf. A human, an elf, and a dwarf. And well, another elf. So this will cost us uh, 6,100 million. So we have plenty. Let's go upgrade our drones. Actually, how much karma do we have? We have a crap ton of karma. Holy cow. Can we unlock S-Class drums? Heck yeah.
We'll save the rest of the karma, I think. Or no, we could become better duckers. Yeah, we'll just keep it like this. What do the S-Class drones cost? Yeah, so we only have like 6,000 to spend, so I can't buy both of them, but I can buy one of them. So I might as well buy the best, right? Oh, we can sell some old stuff, can't we? How do I sell something? Selling him my drugs, does that make me a drug dealer? So we don't need a Doberman. We don't need the Stratonite. Should be enough to buy the wolfhound now. Buy another one of these as well. And we can sell the robo dock. Sell that level one. <coughs> yeah, level one is useless. Do we have enough to buy a couple of level 3 medkits? I don't suppose you would do me any good to, it would it would do me any good to suggest an early retirement. Or at the very least that you might delay whatever's coming long enough for you to get a decent night's sleep and a full meal. There are things that need doing, and I'm the one to do them. 
<laughs> I imagine those were the last words spoken by many brave idiots. Oh, but who am I kidding? I know your type all too well. Words of caution have little worth, and words of prohibition only make you more eager to throw yourself into the fire. You're like children that way. So fine, do what you will. Just tell me what I can do to help you al stay alive that much longer. So what have you heard, Doc? Get some meds. Premium med kits. Toss this away. Screw the grenades. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's save. I think we're all kitted out now. Why can't I save? Got our team. Yeah, come with me, Coyote, Dwarf, and Hermes. Cool. You leave Turrisville behind and make your way into the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that exists falls away, taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, even media influence disappears, leaving an urban feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Computer Systems has hidden some sort of R&D research lab, probably to take advantage of some old tech left after the Shiwase nuclear power plant meltdown, or the crash, the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab. The place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you, just the ones made of meat. Maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. Birds, calm down. Oh my goodness. You're so chatty. Okay, so we're already in combat mode. dare you miss.
Yeah, let's get right up in his face. Oh, I still have the pistol selected. Can you paste? Please tell me again. Yes! Punch that dude. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay, so they only have 2 AP, but they have a lot of movement. Oh, we can go into the vent. Interesting. Sure. Star. Oh crap. Oh no. I walked right into it. Is this a trap? Or, or is this like the use of police for security? Drone time. Okay, the drones are going to attempt to flank. Use shotgun. What is this? This is shotgun, right? Do I have a grenade? I'm still killing hands. Let's murder this guy. I guess I shouldn't have opened this door and should have maybe just sent the drones through, but I don't know.
What do we do here? Okay, this will protect Baconator. through the files. There's some logs that were recently accessed in an encrypted research database. We got the shipment of the sentries in from Shanxi today. Each of them, or eight of them, all told. They're all medicated daily with a sedative that prevents their gaze from affecting us, and they don't try to escape or bite the equipment either. Oh. We have to keep adjusting the doses so we can get valuable combat data out of them. Having something this deadly in the lab always gets me on edge. One wrong dose of those meds, and someone will lose an arm. That or the guys down upstairs will just lock the doors and let the damn things eat us. Awakened security sentries. Oh, it sounds a bit like zombies. Week two of the reaction test trials finished today. Several of the subjects have an uncanny intelligence, and have had no problem solving logic puzzles ahead of schedule. <coughs> Subject 4 continues to be the standout performer in these experiments. Her sensory reaction times and problem-solving skills rival that of chimpanzees. Our benefactors will be pleased if we can begin a breeding program based on her specific traits. I've already taken a sample of her DNA in advance of beginning the live combat trials, just in case something goes wrong. The Awakened Security Sentries project has reached final testing stages. Preliminary human experiments will begin within the next six months. I've already discussed the matter with the tier. Interesting. Let's just chill right here. That smoke cloud last. Oh, I can duck in there or jack in or whatever. Okay. 
Let's try and help Baconator. Trash, I think. No. Okay. Oh, I'm not killing hands anymore. Absolutely no point in me doing this, but yeah, take that. out here? They're gonna make us go in there? Mage, the only one that saw us? Super effective. The smell hits you like a fist, the tang of blood, the funk of animal fowl, and something else. Something wrong. Interesting. I'm gonna 
enough to save all one of my drones. Who? Uh, you. Turret. That's good. Let's kill the sentry. That doesn't seem very effective. Am I too weak? Uh, I think I might be out of my league. You have to help protect me. Uh, Shieldman, what can you do? Definitely need to be a better hacker for this. I was really hoping that would kill it. We're going to have to assassinate it. sleep. Case again. Hmm. Heal thyself. Some sort of 
weird laboratory this is. Whoa, what is this? Subject 1. It's a monster. Thinking, or you just should cower somewhere. Let them come to us. No, oh, they aren't going to. Great. All AP lost. Petrifying gaze. What? A basilisk. Oh, okay. Where'd the other- oh, there it is. Luckily, it bats us pretty weak. No computer. 
computers interact with or anything, so. Dr. Sada, I presume. Who are you? Why, why are you doing this? I'm bewildered. Are you Sada? What if I say no? Then you'll end up like that. Then yes, yes, I am Sada. Wait, you're from Oz Technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. I think this is a signing bonus. So that's it. You're just going to hand me over to them? Jesus, these people, listen to me, whoever you are. I know. I'm a wage slave, I get it. But I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you're doing is trans transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be an employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about it? Of course you have something to say about it. You can beat their price. No, that's not lie. They're paying me 9000 I can't beat that. When Raku froze all my personal funds. Hmm. All I have on me is 5,000 million. Let me go when it's yours. <sighs> oh, jeez. I don't know what to do. The thing is, 5,000 doesn't even cover the cost of hiring the folks to come with me on this. If he could offer me like 6,000 or something, that'd be better, but nope. Sorry, dude. The next run we do, I'm going to have to hire one of those expensive deckers. Oh, anyways, why do I care about that dude? He's working on, like, weird, shady stuff, so... Oh yeah, it's this guy that hired me, right? My people tell me you delivered the package. They had Bastlis, a whole herd of them. No, they only had two. So what? Sounds like you took care of it. Here's a cred stick. You'll find the appropriate compensation and is all there. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, we have our dirty money. Let's go downstairs and use it. I'd like to enhance my own hacking skills. Final level of intelligence, too. That was just the maximum. Oh, we could um, get new etiquette. Now this is what we're doing. <clears throat> so I'm still going to be like the crappiest hacker, but that's okay. How 
to je vysoný. I need more ESPs. I thought the shield was pretty useful. Better armor we can get? Let's see, what are we currently using? We have armor 3 from the tourist book. Whereas we could have the mechanic book. Oh, which is specifically for drones. That might be actually a good thing to do. To do. I like the bunny uh, mask or whatever on the ganger one. Yeah, okay. We're tourists. Or we're no longer tourists. Wow, that looks weird. I'm a, I'm a technician! Well, whatever. If it makes our drones better, that's all that matters. Dodger person. Let's bring Coyote, Dodger. I actually quite liked that uh, Shaman. contour of the Telestrian Industries building slices through the Seattle skyline, gracefully arcing towards the south, towards the, its birthplace in the elven nation of Tyr... Tangyre. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. You stand at the lobby entrance, waiting for Samedi's go signal. The moment extends. Stepping over a corp threshold is a little like stepping into a foreign country, or over a line. Corporations have power so far above the average citizen that assaulting one seems insane, like threatening the gods of Olympus. Land owned by a multinational is corporate soil, exempt from domestic laws. Their employees aren't state citizens, they're corporate citizens, and their top execs can't be brought to trial for some alleged crime. The runner who goes full frontal on a corp is making a statement, making a name. Three chirps on your comm link. It's go time. It's go time. <laughs> Together again, Monami, you and Samadhi shall do great things this night. Great things. Greetings, Baron. So you'll be on Matrix Overwatch for us on this one. 
Indeed, mon ami. There will, of course, be complications to overcome. Complications? These things are easily overcome, be assured. As you were told, there are some tasks that only you can do from inside the building, just as there are some that Samadhi must do from his remote, remote location. We must coordinate our actions, that is all. Boldness and a clear head will win the day. Storming the front desk doesn't sound bold, it sounds insane. Do not be so negative. Samadhi has rerouted the guards in this section of the complex. The coast should be clear for you to navigate to the accounting offices. Let's do it. We need that Aegis. Really? Just immediately. What? What sort of horse crap is this? here and then we'll turn on the wolf hand. Okay, and then we turn on the guardian. this guy gonna do? Our guards don't come up. Why are we still in combat? The keycard slides into the terminal and the screen comes to life. Priority alert, intrusion detected, all elevators locked down, security response, Oscar 6. Notice, Terminal 6J4 Accounting is unsecured. Notify the user to secure the terminal at once. Apparently, the coast was not so clear. <laughs> is this the way the whole run's going to go? Do not doubt, Samity. The Aegis sample will be ours before the night is through. There was reorganization in Telestrian recently. They have a new vice president of security, and he is making changes to their standard procedures. It is nothing Samadhi cannot handle. Now, on to the accounting offices. That doesn't matter which door we open. Nice, my drones have three action points now. Very cool. Is 
Sadly, I do not. I guess we can turn these off. For now. Okay. He can stay back. Open that door. Wait, there's no one in? Great. Wait, who are you? Have grenades, you do. Oh, but not enough AP. Funnel them through here. Ouch. Plus, my guardian, defend me. Oh, so close to being dead. Kinda haste. Okay, it's just that mage now. Whoa. Okay. This terminal is active and displays a login screen that reads accounting division. Level human resources one. Run search. Local access granted. Network access granted. HR communications. Run search. Lynn Telestrian. Terminated. No record for UB. Alright. Lynn Telestrian was terminated. Central billing one. Project each. Project terminated five days ago. Finan final invoices submitted to Seder Krupp. Shriver No, Seder Krupp Heavy Industries Company. Let's see. Swear Industry Geschell Shaft. 
because I was shafted. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not even gonna. Project resources, status, and cost centers are restricted CEO access. So, it appears that James has been making moves to secure his information. Not the actions of a man who has nothing to hide, eh? We need to get upstairs to office and deck into his personal system. From here, it looks like the elevators are on lockdown. You'll need to find an access point to deck in so we can continue. Okay. Coyote is on fire. Project established. 5-12-2053. Project terminated five days ago. Uh, oh, Sam Watts. Record not found. Seichner hints. Melinda Watts. Two payments. Billing system not available. Okay. As the terminal logs off, a slip of yellow paper slides from under the keyboard. Frederick, I must have told you a hundred times. The door code's 1915. I don't know why that's so hard for you to remember. Hmm, Stevens. Sweet. Okay, let's all stack up on that door. Oh, I can send a drone through here. Yes, let's do that. ever going to not be on fire? How long does that last? Oh, he's on fire too. Well, I'm almost dead. What? position so we aren't right in front of that door. Get both drones in there.
Hopefully that wasn't a horrible idea. Can these turrets turn all the way back around? I don't even know. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they destroy my drone buddies. No, they did not. Okay. Sweet. Let's, uh, can we save in the middle of the combat? Let's do it. Are these turrets going to turn around if I fire on them? Oh, not a fan of Yes. Yes, they will. Jeez. Okay. Let's haste her again. That's fine. Um, we have two moves left. So we can do this. Maybe we can take out this dude before we... She has a lot of AP still, so...
that you need to turn off your buddies real quick. Save again. I'm pretty beat up right now. I don't want to waste any more med kits though. Okay. He doesn't have a killer? What the heck? How much health does this have? 175. Oh, okay. are all stacking up so I can use blaster. here and then put up a firewall maybe. I can move hmm. I can move here and put up the firewall.
Okay, blasters off cooldown. on the wolf hand. So they're guarding this entrance and uh, Coyote will handle this one. Two turret control nodes, we have two relatively small ice. Nice. Let's get up close and personal. AP. What? Okay, so which of these do I need to go through? that black eyes missed no I want those pat patents Take out Okay. Oh, come on, really? Hit this. 
my APS blaster, just one. like some data on some new biotech genome research. This is worth some Nuyen in the right hands. I'll send you the funds. Wow. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Elevator control, awesome. Whoa! An exploder. Bomb. What's the radius on this? Oh, okay, that was awesome. Run gun. That's how you get your team killed. Do I retreat? Yeah, I retreat. Still have one more um, portal we can go through and maybe collect some data. Oh, I need to. Oh, I can't use that right now. Back out here. Wow. Come on, you're right next to him. Take him out right now, we're taking some big damage. I don't have ammo. Ugh. Search. 
Watts, contract not found. Related files, William Edelson, Telestrian General Counsel Notes. James, your proposed agreement with Melinda Watts will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance, but it's not without risk. As you know, the generation-skipping trust established by your grandfather calls for the oldest living issue to be the trust manager and beneficiary. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, Miss Watts has agreed to modify her children's birth certificate from unknown to Telestrian employee Nathan Miles. If the children ever discover that they share a father with you, they could make a claim on the trust based upon DNA evidence. Okay, let's uh, jack out of here. Go ahead and use this. Okay, guys. Crowding into a corporate elevator in a shadow run is risky. You're exposed, vulnerable, but time is of the essence. The CEO's office is 50 floors up, and the Baron has your back, in theory. Light, blanderized music flows softly from hidden speakers as you make your way up to James Celestrian's office and towards your objective, a sample of Project Aegis. You need to find the sample and get out before the Baron loses control of the Telestrian mainframe and all hell breaks loose. So we could probably use a little bit of healing, but I'm willing to uh, ignore that. Let's get behind some cover. Coyote haste. this. 
The globe glows with an, uh, with an unearthly light. The air is around her tender. So, okay, some elf BS. Jack in up here. Let's get her into position to defend us. You can do it from this side? Okay. Let's turn on the Guardian. Buddy, I can summon one. Oh, okay, that door. Cameras. Ordinary cameras. Not so ordinary. Note of concern. Okay, we're gonna unlock some lore. grenades. Yes.
Okay, they're coming in up here. Local file search results for Project Aegis. Security threat assessment, Lynn Telestrian. At this point, we cannot confidently assign a motive to Miss Telestrian's hiring of Shadow Runners to destroy the company's Columbia River facility. But there are two leading contenders. The most likely is that she is working for a rival megacorp seeking a competitive advantage. But an alternative explanation is that it has something to do with her deep involvement with the Universal Brotherhood. While Telestrian Industries, of course, would never interfere with our employees' religious choices, our 2053 investigation raised concerns that Miss Telestrian's devotion to the cult-like Universal Brotherhood could represent a security risk to the company, and it is possible that this has become true. Okay. Degrade. Take out our shield. Shield bud. Uh, go distract enemies down here, shield bud. Rotate the camera. Should have degraded first. Ugh. What did it just do?
Phone VM search results for Project Aegis. Call from Thomas Telestrian, recorded five days ago. Dad, it's all gone. The runners attacked last night and managed to blow the whole damn Columbia River facility to bits. I've had teams sorting through the rubble all morning and they haven't found any viable Project Aegis material. The sample I sent you is all that's left. This is a mess. Lots of people dead and the building's a total loss. Call me to discuss what you want to do next. Tom. Okay. We need to, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess this thing can keep going. We need to do a suppression. here. Shield me again. I will firewall. Oh yeah, it's shielded. Okay, I have to interpose this between me and them. Kill the ice, please. No. Whew. Okay, I can handle this now. What was it like running away? Missed. Oops, I did not mean to walk there. Sweet. 
Oh, can it access this? Email and I am search results for Project Aegis. Mr. Telestrian, in light of the recent attacks, I've relocated the only remaining sample of Project Aegis to the safe in my office. The safe is hidden, and the safe's lock is mechanical and thus not at risk from Matrix Decker attacks. Sincerely, Eric Silverstar, Director of Security, Telestrian Industries, Seattle offices. Well done, Monami. As it happens, Eric Silverstar's office is on this very floor. About time a little good fortune came our way, eh? Let's get this over with. As you say, now to stop those elevators, I'm sure there's an accessible node in this system we can access. Find it before you're overrun with guards. I will do what I can. Oh, it's right there. Easy. AP to access it, maybe. Great. Oh, it's not quite big enough. It's helpful having a buddy in here. that we did not go down yet though, so we're not done in here. Oh, I need to start using more of the uh, suppression. Every time it's off cooldown I should use it. No, we already went down this room, didn't we? Or... Or not. I don't know anymore. So stupid. 
distracted, but let's go check. I think that we did go through already, right, but yeah, we did. Is this a drone pack? Oh, I think it is. Where does it come out, though? Just leads into here. Well, that's a waste. This is new. Great. What? What's new? Apparently, Mr. Silverstar's reputation for paranoia is well founded. This panel is a hard coded door control that cannot be accessed from the Matrix. It was not here yesterday. How did you have it installed so fast? Uh, got a new plan? Somebody will think of something. Very well, this will work, but the plan requires you, and only you, to stay the night. Okay, you have my attention. You will find the elevator, once again under our control. It goes to an empty parking garage and safety. Your hired help will be able to clear the building with ease. You, however, will be Telestrian's newest employee come sunrise. Now, allow me to tell you where to go. You hunker down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleansers, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep is impossible as you must constantly be on your guard for the telltale sounds of security team or building maintenance crew. Morning eventually comes, and with it, another chance at Project Aegis. Good morning, mon ami. You look well. Get on with it. Given Mr. Silverstar's paranoia about security, we could not get into his office in a straightforward manner last night. However, thanks to the mayhem created by you and your shadow runners, a situation ripe for exploitation now exists. 
You must think you're pretty clever. We, oui. while you waited here, I continued to probe, looking into some of the less secure, more mundane Telestrian office files. Shipping records indicate that Mr. Silverstar recently took delivery of several paintings he commissioned after being promoted to VP of Telestrian Security. The shipment was called Our Values. On the same day, Building Maintenance reported installing the artwork in his office at the same time as a piece of equipment purchased from Fuji Corp. Although they attempted to obfuscate its use, I believe it is the safe. And the sample is... Uh, I'm betting the artwork and the safe are tied together somehow. You're very bright. Mr. Silverstar is personally conducting the investigation into last night's break-in. He's interviewing personnel who may have pertinent information. You need to be one of the personnel he interviews in his office. Once you're inside, you'll need him to leave so you can find a way to get to the sample. So I tell him I have evidence so I can get inside his office for an interview. Close. You will plant evidence of your own creation. There are three matrix emergency power junctions on this level. If we add some comlink chips to them, it will make last night's run appear to be preparation for a larger run. It will bring the attention of Telestrian security. I need to get away I need to get around the building without attracting attention. There's a janitor's uniform, ID badge, and comlink chips in the locker. They will get you general access and allow you to pass a basic inspection. The rest is up to you. One more thing. Mr. Silverstar is well known for his creative security measures. You do well to learn as much as you can about this man before meeting him. Now quickly change. I will unlock the door. Awesome. So I am a janitor now. I think I'm going to save and call it, though, for today. Uh, though I did start the stream, I guess, slightly late. Yeah, I think that's a good place to save it. Next week, we will finish the Telestrian run, and maybe we'll be able to take on the Brotherhood uh, full on with the Aegis. <sighs> How do I... Well, cool. Thank you for chilling with me. Later.